everyone uh, in this video I'll show you how to create so-called command line session in MDT and generally speaking what is a command line session a command line session is the most flexible kind of a session available in MDT and is dedicated to um, run any complex batch file or any other executable with some switches or parameters that at the end should start a session uh, this way of running session in MDT is um, the most similar one to the um, way of running session um, in Emacs. So we only have to use the appropriate uh, command line and set some parameters in, from this command line in MDT to be able to start the session. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the uh, example of a batch file for running um, a swap session uh, so as you can see here i have a batch file named swap let's take a look uh, what we have inside in this batch file and as you can see in the first line we have a simple comment in the second line we have a command for setting the some environment variable uh, with its value and at the la last line we have a command for running small work sessions so you can see that we are using JS application launcher with the set of appropriate switches and the name of an alias for running swap session so everything is uh, very simple till now and uh, let's uh, start this batch file with the use of Emacs environment okay so let's start Emacs let's go to the command line for running session let's remove the default the command line and let's simply put the path to to our uh, batch file so as you can see c temp and swap and after pressing enter we will start the session with the use of this batch file of course, uh, in real life, those batch files are really complicated and uh, there is a lot of different switches and so on, but uh, don't worry, you just have to set up a path to this batch file in MDT and you will start the session. Okay, so let's take a look how we should do it uh, in MDT. So let's start MDT. Let's go to the sessions tab of a sessions view. And let's activate context menu and choose new command line session. After activating the wizard for new command line session, we have to specify the name for our session. In this case, it will be swap command line. Of course, we have to specify a small JS version. Uh, then we have to choose a runtime that will be used to uh, start our session as it was in the previous examples and in the next page of a wizard we have to specify a path to the executable file that we would like to use to start the session so in this case it is very simple because we only have to find our batch file so in my example a swap batch file so after specifying the path to this batch file we can also set some additional command line parameters but in this very simple example we don't have to do it so let's press uh, finish to end the process of session creation as you can see we have a swap command line session available in the sessions view after double clicking on it we will see uh, the session uh, editor where we can change uh, some parameters if we would like to so we can uh, change the executable file path or we can specify the working directory or some additional command line parameters for running our command line okay so let's start our session let's select the session in the session view and choose the start command from the context menu as you can see session is starting we can see the console output so everything is okay all right so let's uh, let's uh, take a look one more time uh, at the command line session so in this example we were using a batch file for running the session but there is no problem to use for example 
any other command line from Emacs, like it was with the use of, for example, alias files. So let's go to Emacs, let's open the GIS aliases file, let's start a swath uh, alias with the use of aliases runtime definition command. Okay, let's go to the buffer where we have uh, where we have um, the command line with the session. So here we have the command line for running the session. And as you can see, we can copy the path to our executable for running um, these aliases. We can paste it. Uh, to the place where we have the path or executable file and the next thing that we have to do is to simply copy the command line parameters from Emacs to, to MDT to our uh, session configuration so let's paste it to the command line parameters field let's save the configuration let's go back to the sessions view Let's stop the session. Okay, and let's start it one more time to see if this command line is working. Okay, we can see that session has been started, so everything is okay. And as you can see, the command line session can be used to create um, the session as it was in case of standard kind, as it was in case of session link. So Generally speaking, this kind of a session is most uh, flexible. Okay, thank you for listening.